Hey guys, it is Arika Misha in the kitchen getting ready to do what I do. And today we'll be cooking on the menu today is our garlic parmesan crust chicken. We have the chicken here. I'll show you guys that in a minute. And the side will be the Norse rice side. This is the cheddar and broccoli. Really, really good, you guys. And easy to make. So, you guys will see, I don't know if I've cooked this for the channel, but anyway, I'll show you guys how quick and easy that is. And I've got four bags, because they don't really give you that much in a bag, so. But yeah, so we have four of those. Um, I have some panko seasoned uh, with, it says here with, I don't know how to pronounce that. Paris, I, I will try. Uh, pecorino, pecorino romano cheese, okay, anyway. Um, breadcrumbs, some seasoned breadcrumbs. So you guys will see what I do with that. And let me show you guys our chicken breasts. These are the Publix brand, and these are the really large uh, chicken breasts, boneless, skinless chicken breasts that I seasoned and marinated. Y'all know they've been marinating overnight. Um, so I got them all seasoned up, and I did use my, you know, of course my regular seasons, and then I did use the sweet baby Ray's garlic parmesan um, sauce. So, they've been marinating overnight in that sauce and my seasons, oh, these are going to be good. So, they've already, I can just cook them like this. I don't really have to do the breadcrumbs, but I'm going to give the, do the breadcrumbs so it has like a little crunch to it. And that's our stove. Sounding like it's all nice and preheated. So, let's go ahead. I've got my pan ready over here. Give you guys a close up on that. I mean, these are some really large chicken breasts. So, we're going to have plenty and we're going to have leftovers as well. So, let me go ahead and um, I've got my pot. Today, I will be using my Gotham cookware. Y'all know I love me some Gotham. I will try to remember to leave the link in the description box. Uh, I did order them from Amazon. That was like the cheapest place to get them. Um, so, all right, let me go ahead and get ready. I'll be back to show you guys me panning up the chicken. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get our chicken uh, prepped to get in the oven. All right, and of course, I already showed you guys the chicken. I've got my uh, panko seasoned breadcrumbs. Um, I've got them down here. Uh, so we can go ahead and get them um, on our pan. Let me show you guys how I'm going to do that. Quick and easy. And of course, the um, Sweet Baby Ray's Garlic Parmesan Sauce I have on the chicken. Give you guys a close-up of that. It's already a little sticky and wet. So, my breadcrumbs should have no problem sticking. Alright, make sure you guys can see. Alright, so I just put my um, crumbs down on the plate. You know, just putting it down. Make sure I get it breaded. You know, get the crumbs all over it. Kind of pat them down on there. Make sure you got enough bread crumbs sticking to your chicken there. And you know what? It's just going to give the chicken. Of course, I'm going to bake these before I forget. I will be baking these at 400 degrees. Uh, and I'll probably bake them for maybe about, I don't know, these are the really thick chicken breasts. So it might be about 30 minutes. So, of course, I'll let you guys know how long it took. But these are the really thick chicken breasts. And you know the whole breadcrumbs can be a little messy. You know how that goes. So... Kinda, you know, pat your little crumbs on, and and I want to give them a light crumb. I don't want to over crumb them. You know, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that whole shake and bake kind of thing. Just want to give them a light little crumb. That way they have a nice a nice little light crunch on the outside. I mean, I'm telling you, this chicken is packed with flavors. I see it in my chicken, of course. And then we've got the garlic parmesan, the sweet baby Ray's garlic parmesan sauce on it. And now we're putting these uh, seasoned crumbs on them so this chicken's gonna be full of flavor it's a thick chicken it can handle it it can handle it and I'm gonna go ahead and shake that excess off you know the ones that's not sticking just gonna lay it over here and that's it I've um, now my pan I did spray my pan with my uh, Pam oil sprayed it you know got it all nice and oily so that your chicken and your breadcrumbs don't stick duh but yeah you're 
and that's how I'm gonna do the chicken I'm gonna get uh, all the chicken in this these chickens like I said they're really large I don't know if I'll be able to fit them all on this pan I will try I might have to use a second pan but let me go ahead and um, I'll do another one with you guys and as you guys can see ah, a little dark I tell you my lighting already wet pour some more crumbs down get a little messy get a little messy so spread our crumbs around I was thinking about maybe getting a bowl you know and um, putting the crumbs on that way but I kind of changed my mind at the last minute. I like doing it this way. That way I control the breadcrumbs, you know. Because like I said, I don't want I don't want to make it too. But I want to make sure I'm getting the breadcrumbs everywhere though. You know, like a little light little crust. See how that looks? Go ahead and sit that on there. Because I've got to squeeze a lot of chicken on here. So, you guys see how I've been doing it. I'm going to go ahead. Let me get my hands washed first. Make sure you guys remember go in the description box. I do have the link to my second channel um, in the description box. My second channel, that is my spiritual channel over here. I'm doing makeup, you know, girly stuff, cooking, all that kind of stuff. Uh, my opinion reviews on products. I'm doing all kinds of stuff on my channel. My channel, you're going to get something different all the time. I, I, I don't like keeping it the same. I like changing it up. Um, but on my second channel, that is, uh, like I said, the link is in my description box. That is my spiritual channel. That is my uh, spiritual journey over there you know where I talk about my relationship with Christ with God living for God you know what it's like living for God and things that I deal with on a daily basis all that good stuff over there guys so make sure you go in the description box and check that out but in the meantime let me get this chicken all trade up guys and I'll be back okay guys my rice is real simple and easy uh, the directions uh, one and a half cup of water two tablespoons of margarine and a half a cup of milk uh, to the pan of course I had to do my um, portions four times because I had four bags of the rice so I got that all in it says to bring it to a boil once it comes to a boil cover it up and reduce the heat and let it uh, cook for about seven minutes so this Norris rice is quick and easy if you guys have cooked these they're quick and easy um, I really like them because they're tasty you know even though they're quick and easy sometimes quick and easy don't taste that good but the Norris rice the Norris side period they are pretty good. So, I'm just getting everything all stirred in. I'm going to go ahead and reduce my heat and get this covered up. Get that heat reduced down. Get it covered up now that it's boiling. And that's it. Quick and easy for that rice. Quick and easy. That's the rice, guys. So, I've got my chicken in the oven. I did set my timer to 30 minutes at 400 degrees. So, we'll see how that go. And when I come back, guys, quick and easy video. Uh, I might check in on the chicken and show you guys how it's coming along. Yeah, I think I'll do that. But I'll be back, guys. All right, guys. We are back. The chicken is not done, of course. I did put a little butter across the top of the chicken. You need to kind of, you know, help help it cook give it a little oil you know in there um and also you know to help the top of my chicken brown it's been about 30 minutes and as you guys can see it looks like it's about halfway done i kind of checked it it's halfway done so i'm gonna put it in like i said it was 30 minutes i think i'm gonna put it in about another about another 20 minutes these are thick chicken breasts so they're gonna take a little longer to cook and as you guys can see they are huge so i'm so excited the rice already done already the rice has been done done so all right, just checking in with y'all with the chicken. This is after 30 minutes in my stove. So as you can see, it's starting to brown a little bit. Let me take y'all in a little bit. And you can see where I added the butter across the top. That's kind of helping it brown a little bit too as well. And those crumbs, of course, you guys know those are going to get all brown and toasty. I'm hungry right now. I'm ready to eat right now. So, all right, just checking in with the chicken, y'all. And you know what? I'll be back with the grand finale. Okay, guys, we are back with our grand finale. Our garlic parmesan crusted chicken. 
is out of the oven. I let it get all nice and brown and toasty across the top. Oh my goodness. Tastes so good. Y'all know I already had some. Yes, I did. It's, it's my food. Yes. Yes, I did. It's mine. Yes. You know, you can. It's my food anyway, y'all. Oh, yes. Oh, it's so good. And you know what I love about it? It's juicy on the inside. It's so juicy. I hate dry chicken. Whew. Well, y'all seen me do it. So you know I did it. Wait, did I show y'all the rice? Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Let me get the rice. Let me get the top off the rice. Because that rice is looking delicious. Y'all stop staring at the chicken. Hold on, hold on. Let me get y'all over here to the rice. Oh, yeah. Oh, that rice is delicious. Yeah, I taste that too. I, yeah, I had a little small plate. Okay. 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 All right. Anyway. Jeez, these are my confessions. Lord have mercy. All right. Well, come on camera. Let's focus. Okay, there you go. There you go. Y'all know he ain't showed out in a long time. He. Hmm. Well, guys, you've seen me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. That's Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, of course. Thanks, guys. Bye.